Watch time is over. What's that? In case, man. <laughs> I see you've plied knifey spoony before. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and today I'm going to have a look at Taskmaster. I don't know what this is, I don't know what the format is, I believe it's some kind of like improv comedy show. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name who hosts it, but he was the principal from the Inbetweeners and he's hilarious. So I'm keen to check it out, it's been recommended a lot down in the comments in uh, my other videos. And then my best mate Jamie's told me I should check it out as well, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. Always looking for new stuff on the channel. If this is your first time watching this, uh, make sure you subscribe. If uh, this goes well, there'll be more episodes of this, but I do Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I do movie reactions and comedy and all sorts of other stuff on the channel, so make sure you check it out. But let's check out Season 1, Episode 1 of the UK version of Taskmaster. I got told not to worry about the USA or the Australian version, so UK it is. Let's go. Alright, this intro is not giving me any idea what the hell I'm about to watch. Melon Buffet, alright. Some accomplished but needy comedians do stupid things for me. Why? Because I can. I'm a powerful man. <laughs> Look at me. Thank you. <laughs> Very smart. Frank Skinner! Frank Skinner, he was from a comedy duo, wasn't he? I can't remember the name of it. Something in Skinner, I'm pretty sure. Of course, and I, I would put that last if I could, but the football was so bad I have to put it. <laughs> it's an unsigned football, Josh. I'm going to sign football. You've rubbed off the signatures and put me last. <laughs> <laughs> Did they really? <laughs> in the lab, there is a watermelon. Eat as much watermelon as possible. You have one minute. The time starts when you open the door to the lab. I'm allergic to watermelon. Frustrating as I just ate one in my dressing room. <laughs> they put one in the dressing room. <laughs> something, oh, I thought something was going to explode in there. I mean, I don't know how you do better than that. Yeah, okay. Let's see the master, Frank Skinner. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, Frank, he's, urgency. If you get points for urgency, then he's on it. By the way, if they do it for weight, that's probably the best idea, because look at all that stuff on the ground. Oh. Well, I need a thing. I need some sort of hammer. Can I get a hammer? A knife? Can I go and get, I go and get it? I, I would. <laughs> she didn't get any of this done, did she? <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. It's such a shame. Put the knife down when you bring that thing to your face. <laughs> You knew before you went into that room that the challenge was to eat as much melon as possible, and yet your reaction to seeing a melon on the table was, oh! I didn't think I had to cut a watermelon. I thought it was going to be like a massive bowl of melon and just keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is he laughing so hard? We're going to see Ramesh and Tim together. together. I've, I've grouped them and you'll see why. <laughs> it's a bench there, dude. He didn't have to eat off the floor. <laughs> By the way, I hate watermelon and uh, like the consistency of fruit in general, I just don't like it. And that would make me like vomit and want to throw up everywhere. Me on this show, this particular challenge would be hilarious because I would be struggling, but I would not quit either. I would go, <laughs> oh dude, <laughs> I would go the whole minute, I would do it. 
Dude, he nearly ate the whole friggin' thing. You have to eat on that's, the floor. That's my first question to you. There was clearly a table in front of you. <laughs> yes, thank you. I just didn't realise that a watermelon was that soft. Like, I thought, in my head, it was, like, rock hard. And then when I threw it, I was like, holy shit, that is... <laughs> Genuine surprise to me. I, I just didn't. I just hadn't anticipated the watermelon was like that. I just, I just built it up in my head like so. I was just, I'm gonna have to really smash into this. And I was like, oh. He did as well. He threw that thing hard into the ground. So you scooped up Romish's vomit. So I mean, it's up to you. There's one gram difference, but also there was a bit, there's a bit of dodgy business with Tim. If you just want to have a look at this. Ah. Oh. Did he stuff some in his pocket? Oh dear, oh dear. Son of a bitch! Oh, that was up. That was after the time. <laughs> Tim, and then he won by one. Did he wink us? It's very hard to tell. If it was a wink, it was a bad wink. But um, we can have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking nine grams off you. The winner is Ramesh Ranganathan. Wow! <laughs> Tim, this is not the place for uh, winking, I guess. Can't paint, can't ride horses. I can draw a horse sat on a chair and I can ride a horse in my mind. <laughs> I can ride a horse in my mind. Here are the five paintings of horses painted whilst riding horses. I know that a lot of, uh, a lot of judges in art competitions will find it difficult. I'll tell you now, at one glance, I'm going to find this pretty straightforward. God, somebody did a really good job, by the way. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think that's Frank Skinner. But so dramatically overshadowed by a picture of a giant mouse. <laughs> Here are the names of the artists. So, yeah, Tim Key painted the worst one. Frank Skinner painted the best yeah, one. Yeah, I knew that was Frank's. He, as soon as he said, I feel more comfortable painting than writing, he knows how to paint. I, I, you know what? I tell you, a weird thing has happened. I've never painted before since school. And at the end of that, I thought, you know what? I might start painting. And I went out <laughs> and I actually bought some watercolours and stuff. And I'm less good not on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I saw Baz's spirit. And I just basically tried to capture that on the canvas. And, and, and it oh, sort stop of... Stop being such a wanker! <laughs> But there's a reason, I don't know what it is yet, but there's a reason why Roisin's been separated from the groups. Oh, Roisin, what have you done? Finished. Have you signed it? I have. Oh, my God. So I think that came out way better than I thought. So a bit like My Little Pony. I don't know, I still think Frank's was way, way better. I've never been on a horse. I've met hundreds of horses around the world. And All right, big shot. <laughs> <laughs> You were supposed to be riding a horse while you were painting, and therefore, I'm afraid you have to be disqualified from this round and take last place. <laughs> really? You don't think that's fair? I'll go last place. I think it's I'm fair. That's fair, right? Okay, I'll go third. <laughs> <laughs> but there are two people in second place. Romesh in the lead, Tim and Frank in second. Ooh, close one, close one. Well, they might all be like this. This might be completely normal. Completely empty this bathtub. Fastest wins. You must not remove the part plug, tip or damage the bath. The time starts now. What? What didn't you understand about that task? <laughs> I know there's that thing you can do with petrol, where you get the thing and you suck and then it keeps it going. What's going on with the with the duck? Something sus about that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go through the bucket. Why didn't you start with that one, guys? Okay, this all seems pretty straightforward now. What's 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 the gimmick? Other than this absolute idiot right here. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, let me guess, they did it correctly. Frank getting the dub in this episode. Probably Frank did it quicker because Josh does a constant running commentary on how well he's doing. Yeah. You might want to move back, guys. <laughs> I've got a system, I'm sticking with it. Yeah, it's not too bad. You know what, I respect the fact she's just like, 
hoiking that shit out. Maybe, I guess those lights would be waterproof. I can only imagine what these two animals, how they approach this <laughs> task. <laughs> Are they just going to start doing it by hand? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, see? There you go. Okay, can I just get a towel? I'm going to get a towel. Towel. Pretty sure he's knocked the, um... <clears throat> Plug out, by the way. Inevitable winner, Mr. Tim Key. Incredible. All right, all right. I, I call shenanigans on that. Looked like there was water leaking out the bottom. There's one slight issue in that there was a rule saying you're not allowed to remove the plug. I, I noticed that. Tim. <laughs> we did spot, if you just have a look again, you can just see the plug, but it wasn't in all the time. Yeah, look at the bottom. Look at that. <laughs> some, some thoughts to that face. What's that face saying? That's me having completed the task, just having a little walk around. <laughs> what, I, what, what did you pick up there, Tim? Picked up. Sorry? I, oh, I was just wondering what you. Sorry, <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> can we see how effectively he disguised putting the yes, we can. back in? <laughs> I take him down two places, right? It's up to you. It's two up to you. He took the plug Shut out. up, Rose. He took the plug out. Yeah, I agree with her. I'm going to put him in last place. Judgment done. Uh, so the winner. He has spoken. Task which will be done right here on the stage, Tim. Will you cheat again? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and emerge from the tent wearing the onesie. Fastest wins. Yes. Should we just explain it again? Uh, okay, this kind of reminds me of a um, show in Australia called Talking About Your Generation, but there would always be like some kind of physical challenge at the end. First out of the tent wins. And where do we put our tent? I mean, aren't we all going to get in each other's way? Hey, you put them yeah, up in yeah, yeah, yeah. All that you can do internally. <laughs> Zip at the front, please. Back a bit, back a bit, back a bit. Zip at the front, please. Zip at... You're not in it! You're not in it! <laughs> Do we need to send someone in for Frank? Yes. He's been in he's, there for hours! He's been very still for a very... Oh! Wow! Good work, man. He treats a... He's so competitive, that Tim Key guy. Like, he... he as soon as they're like, your time starts now, he's just like, 100 miles an hour straight away. What an incredible victory for Mr. Tim Key. He worked hard for it. He earned that. He earned that. Bleh, he earned that victory. Who's going to win a reindeer skull with a hole in it? Let's have a look at the final scores, Alex. Here they are. Ooh. So this whole thing is going to be decided on a game of hide and seek. I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Find Alex. Fastest wins. Fastest wins. Time. Time. Oh, no. yeah. See, Ramesh, he's off straight away. No wasted time. Alex. Hello, mate. <laughs> Frank gets the win. Movement, more finding. Yeah, but on the plus side, <laughs> but I don't have that dog shit snow globe anymore, so. <laughs> so the winner of today's show, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Frank Skinner. All right, well done, Frank. Whatever I remember you in, I remember you being funny. What are you going to do with all this garbage now, Frank? <laughs> At least you didn't have to give up your grape scissors. Alright, before I talk about the show, I just want to say this before I forget it. One of my favourite cheating moments I've ever seen, it was on a, um... It was like a... A game where... You had a team, and one person had to answer questions about the other person, but they... Had to, like... You, you weren't allowed to communicate and give each other hints. You, you get what I mean. It was a bunch of old pro wrestlers from the 80s. They're all in like their 60s and stuff now. And one of them, or two of them were trying to, one of them was trying to cheat. And the question was, what can this person not live without? And the guy writes wife on his hand. He's like, like I'm going to say wife kind of thing. So he writes wife on there. They get to his partner. They're like, what's the one thing that, you know, your partner can't live without? <laughs> the dude's so old and his eyesight's so bad, he thought it said life. So the answer he gives is like, 
well, life, you know, brother, you can't live without life. And everyone, <laughs> everybody in the thing is just like, hmm, all right, that's a bit of a weird answer. Can't live without life. <laughs> I always found that scene to be really, really funny. But let's talk about Taskmaster. Interesting show. I do enjoy the format, but sometimes the sitting around roasting each other. I think that's more of a British thing. Uh, I don't know if I just don't know some of the people better, but it feels a bit awkward sometimes when the crowd like claps an insult and they all sort of like take a moment. I didn't find them, many of them to be that funny, but I, there was a few laughs in there and I know it's the first episode, so I'm just going to get to know these, uh, you know, human beings. These They're not characters or actors, contestants, comedians. I'm going to get to know them a lot better as the uh, episodes go on, but I can see the potential in it. I'm sure it's going to get a lot crazier, but I just wanted to have a look at it and see what it was all about because I've heard so much about this show. Not heard a lot about it. I've been recommended this show quite a lot. And uh, I don't know, I was a little bit underwhelmed, I suppose, but I also understand if it's a show that picks up steam as it goes through and, you know, things sort of become relevant more as each episode goes on. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. If the views for this go crazy, then I'll start doing them because I definitely see the potential in it. But I'd love to hear what you want me to have a look at on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.